Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Prey. We're starting back on Talos 1 today and we're about to go outside to do our very first spacewalk. The airlocks I think may act as fast travel points as well, I don't know. As I say, this is the first time I've gone outside the station so I was interested to see what happens as you guys are. We're going out here to find Dr. Kalinzo's body. Because we need his keycard. Microgravity detected. So, space to ascend. Control to, uh, to lower. Roll with Q and A. Break with both together. And get a burst of acceleration with shift. Nice. We're going to probably load up for the pistol for this one. There's a corpse up there, and there's Calvino. This is very cool. I'm going to explore first by going to see what that human corpse over there is, if I can get that far. This whole experience is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Proper zero gravity in a space station game. Wonderful. I wonder if the next system shock is going to include segments like this. It would be pretty cool if it did. Not even any sound outside, or practically no sound outside. Proper space. As opposed to, you know, um, what you get with most Hollywood films. Let's thrust ourselves back. Towards the hull. Which we saw this room from the outside earlier on, but couldn't get through because, well, because it was breached to, uh, to vacuum. We can now finally get in there. Just this whole segment is very, very cool. Gonna see what these bits are first uh, before we scan his body. Spare parts, handy, handy. Some more. And there's his body. A couple of neuromods on him. You and his workshop key. Not surprising. Well done. Mio, this is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I am not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, let's uh, talk about it tomorrow. So, what was going on with Dr. Calvino, I wonder? Do we have a code for this? No, and uh, we need level 3 to be able to get through it. Although... No, it's actually completely broken. I need level three to be even able to be even able to get through it. Let's see if we've got enough neuromods to put that up a level or two. Yeah, we've got enough to put it up to level two, but not to level three. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I'll tell you what. Unless there's something else better spent uh, that we can better spend our units on. Yeah, I think we can go back and get hacking level two. Yay! So 
Okay, that's us leveled up. Let's head back out a little bit and see what we can find. There's a something up here I saw that we could do with being repaired. There we go. We've got some spare parts now, so we might be able to do something about it. No, we need repair level 2, which we do not have. That's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. Got some more spare parts here. Well, if nothing else, we've got a shit ton of those in the future. Oh, Carvino's got something on him. Still. Oh, just the transcribe that we've already read, that's a bit odd. And a couple more items over here. So just trying to get back inside here. Which I don't think we can unless we repair the breach fail safe. Or let's go and explore a bit more. I'm not quite sure whether this will happen or not, but I think probably hitting um, hitting things a little bit too fast is gonna cause us damage. different areas there, but none of them we can open yet. Let's see about that human corpse. I think we need to open the airlocks from the inside first before we can actually access them from the outside, but it's definitely a sort of fast travel system, which is going to be useful for us as the station is pretty big. That's an engineering operator. It's a non-compromised one, which is nice. I'm not going to have to worry about being attacked by that. There is the other... Jesse Costa. So we need to head back inside now, which is over in that direction, I think. I don't know if we can get a map up out of the outside or not. No, we cannot. That's a shame. Okay. So yeah, let's head back up north and see... I say north. Forward. Head forward and see if we can't get ourselves back inside. That's the whole breach that we've just come out of. That's it there. There's the airlock. We're gonna just approach this quite slowly. Get ourselves in. And there we go, our first spacewalk. Yep, we'd like to go back inside now, please. Quick sip of tea while we're waiting. So, we've got the workshop keycard now. We'll have to keep an eye out and see if we can find some more neuromods on the way and get our hacking or repair level up, one of the two. And we'll change back to the glue, ca uh, glue cannon now that we're back inside. We're going to head over to Dr. Galvino's workshop. Can I hack it so I can hack it? I don't know if that will do as much good because it looks kind of busted, but we'll give it a go. Oh hell, I did not expect that to be two points. Ah, nuts. Ow. Should have looked to the bottom, really, because it said about it being on the bottom there. There's uh, two item, uh, two progress icons down there. Wow, you got to be quick through here, man. Just in time. Not that uh, that's much good, because... It's still broken. Never mind. Um, now, if memory serves, there's a big old electrical discharge through there, so that's not the way we want to go. Gets out and around the side here. It's been a few days since I picked this up last. Uh, it's been a busy week. Both at work, at home, and trying to put a bit more of the finishing touches to my Metroid Prime playthrough. Here we go finally unlock his workshop. There's something behind the crates. Let's have a look. 
Don't seem to be able to move that one, but it's alright. We should still be able to get past now. Nice mid kit. Uh, I think we've got a fair few of those now. We're up to 11, that's good. Should be plenty to keep us going for the time being at least. It's just a stack of crates. What was that? Oh. What the hell is that? scan that and add it to the radar because it might be useful when we're outside later on. Right. What have we got? Consoles fried. Shorted out one of the two. Power control terminal. Reinitialize, please. Video playback, network utilities, diagnostics. Let's start with video playback. Test phase one could not connect to host. Could not connect to. Uh, we're going to be doing some tech work here. Okay, let's see. Let's do some uh, network testing. Okay, servers online. All servers online? Yep, okay, let's try the diagnostics. Diagnose network servers. Server ARCs SR4BN1112 disconnected. What about the screens? All screens intact, okay, so 1112, that one. Restoring connection. Connection restored. Nice work, Morgan. Thank you. The looking glass screens are online again. Yay. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. Let's have a look at the videos that are on there. It's running? Oh, Light field capture weird. looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld. D did you take it? No. Ah, yesterday we had two. Now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense. I guess you forgot. Sounds like the uh, the guy from The Simpsons, one of the um, one of the old guy, one of the elderly guys from The Simpsons. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. No, just just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I uh, I suppose it's it's late after all. Uh, go go uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. Good night, Dr. Calvino. <sighs> Get on, piscatole. I don't, I don't come to your place and kick over your cans, do I? That guy. That's weird. It's still running. I love that you can see off the edge of the screen as well. That's really strange. Doing. Is that a secret? 
compartment over here? Looks like a secret compartment over here. Hmm. Uh, well, it looks like it, but it doesn't look like one I can easily find. I wonder. Where's this thermos? Threw it over here somewhere, didn't I? Ah, uh, where is it? There it is. Not his thermos, his tumbler. It's pretty much the thermos. Yes! A couple of hidden Euro mods and a cabin card. Nice, that was worth sticking around for. So that puts us back up to three Neuro mods, I think. Yep. Um, I think we'll hold on to them for now. Maybe. What have we got? Dismantle. We can't afford Neuro uh, Repair 2. Materials Experts. Impact Calibration. Toughness. Stamina. Mobility. Stealth. Combat Focus. Yeah, I think I'll stick with keeping hold of them for now. See if there's anything up here before we make a move. And we're going to head back to our office. A couple of emails as well. Wrong button. Mary, this is Dr. Calvino. I require you to fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams. Empty, of course. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to put in a good word to Dr. Thorstein for your assistance. Dr. Calvino. Okay, I'll get on right on that, Mary. Clive, this is Dr. Calvino. I need you to modify a scale so that it reads when it reads 170 grams, it sends an on-off signal. Please let me know when it's ready. Uh, sure, Clive. Lorenzo, I've had a look at the specs you sent me. I see a few problems. I didn't realize you'd offloaded so many of the pro so much of the processing and storage. What if someone took a wrench to the main server? The whole system goes down? Anyway, come by when you get a chance and we'll go over the details. I have a few suggestions if you're am amenable. Jorgen. I wonder if there's anything behind the cabinet. Probably not. Just... <clears throat> A case of carrying stuff around. Right, we're going to head back to Morgan's office and see what that video says. See, that's not a good sound. You're going to have to be very careful with that. I'm feeling it's going to end up being something destructive and something to be worried about. I don't know where we picked up the key for, what was it, Calvino's uh, cabin? I don't know where his cabin is. Let's see key in the crew quarters. All right, so we're gonna have to keep a lookout for the crew quarters then. I don't know if we've got it on the map. No, it's not in the. Yeah, it's not in the hardware labs. Possibly in. Bum, 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 bum. There. Looks like it might be reachable off the Arboretum. So, basically, it, it's going to be a while since we, until we find that. That's fine. Um, did we go in here? Looks like we may have been in, may have come in here already. Oh no, maybe not. Red circuit board, EMP charge, and a wrench. Have we got room to take that wrench? Is it worth us taking it? We've got a little bit of room, but I'm not sure it's worth us bothering. We're just going to break it down anyway. Oh, break it down! So, as we found out in the last episode, we can actually put out fire with the glue cannon, which is pretty damn cool. It's going to allow us to get through those areas really easily. Ah, and we're behind the demonstration stage. I was wondering how we got through here. We saw it last time round, but didn't manage to find our way in. Now we know. There's an engineering bot out there. And an employee entrance keycard. Good, good. That's another handy one later down the line. 
don't know if we've been spotted. I don't think we have. At the moment. Yeah, it's looking a completely different way from us. It hasn't spotted us yet. So let's clear the place of anything and everything that we can before we take it on. Anything up top? Ah. Yes, there is. Gregory Kepner. Holding another Neuromod. Right, let's see if we can take this guy out, shall we? We use the disruptor gun. Didn't even know we were there. You can see us burning through the ammo quite a lot for the pistol so I'm probably gonna when we get back up to Morgan's office I'm gonna spend a little bit of time I think um, picking up some more pistol ammo doing some recycling crap what was that I'm sure I saw something flicker up on screen there's a neuro, another neuromod there that's good what's that leave us with Five. So we're back up to what we had almost at the beginning of the level. Or almost at the beginning of the video, sorry. Man, we're in a completely different area. We haven't explored this one yet. Shame we can't break the lock. Doesn't look like it's that secure. You'd think we'd be able to. Man, this place is really coming apart. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. There's a phantom in there. Don't know where that, uh... Do not know where that mimic went. Unfortunately, it's going to be staying quiet for the moment from the looks of things. Ah, oh, cool, we've got some ammo fabrication plans. We're back in a crew quarters area, so we've got a security, sta security station. Security controls, reset checkpoint, unlock security locker. And can we download? Yes, we've got an area map. Wonderful. I feel like we're actually making some progress in this episode. Not massive progress, but you know, some. some. Now I don't know where that mimic went, so we're going to have to kind of keep our eyes open. There he is. Oh shit, there's a phantom in there. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to carry it, please. Ah, <laughs> that was an easy one. That was easy peasy. Can we get up here? Looks like we should be able to. Up here, and then up and over. Wonderful. Bit more glue canister. Macro 11. I'm gonna guess that's that one. Emails, emails, emails. Glue test results. 3.1 test specimen preparation. 3.2 the dimension should be optimized for small scale test chambers. 1 meter cubed operating at 1, uh, min one minus 0 0.02 air change per hour to achieve the loading factor of 0 0.1 to, zero, uh, to 0.9 meters squared. 3.3 applied D TBO 79C to clean stainless steel sheet metal plate. 3.4 thoroughly coated specimen on sheet metal plate successfully with occurrences of minimal waste. 3.5 immediately transferred specimen to conditioning environment. Small scale test successful. Recommend moving to full scale. Note glue is still vitrophobic. Hello, reminder that if you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet's key code is 8071. If you take anything, please let me know. Clive, 
To whomever gave Mr. Dear Miss mis, gave Dear Mr. Gluey McGlueface Arms, aka First Shift, I bow to thee. At first, I thought the jellied eel hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equal. Sincerely, the unworthy Second Shift. I love the comedy in this, despite everything that's gone on. And here he is, Mr. Gluey McGlueface. I'm guessing that's meant to be him. No, maybe not. It looks like it should be from one angle, but we're going to have to keep an eye out and see if we can see him. There's also a note over here. Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. Guessing this might have been him here, but is no longer. That's a shame. And we've got no room left in our inventory again, of course. Uh, I know where we are now. Okay, fair enough. What we're going to do is head back downstairs. Unless there's a fabricator or recycler nearby. Uh, Thaddeus, Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors, so I'll be away from the labs for an extended period. I've left everything in my working in working order while I'm out, but just in case I'm sending you the key code to my office is 0417, Dr. Thorstein. Hey, this is Gus down in Cargo Bay. I found something curious in an outbound container on my shift. I think it's an old fabricator plan for an autonomous turret. It was stashed away with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to Pythias facility. It may have been an accident, but I don't know. One of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want it back, talk to them. That's going to be worth us keeping an eye out for. Thaddeus, please keep an eye on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here, I get it. But I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas, Dr. Thorstein. Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah, I've got no room there left whatsoever. So we're going to head towards our office because we know there's a recycling there. We will come back this way later on because there's still some stuff unexplored. And still some items uncollected. But for now, we're heading back to the lobby. Let's all go back to the lobby, let's all go back to the lobby. Okay, so we're going to want to head ourselves back upstairs, I think, for the video. Ah, ah, ha, ha, okay, you know what, we're just going to stop here first. I'm going to transfer that over as well. And is there anything else? still don't know what fear does. Um, if I have experienced it, I haven't experienced it for very long. It's going to be worth keeping an eye on, I suppose. Recycle, please. I'm also going to take one of those and also sort to free up some room. Ah, uh, we've actually got two other pistols there, so let's ditch one of those. Again, that will free up some room. That's the other one. That's the other one we've got equipped. Yeah, that'll do it. We save all those two. Ah, oh, look at all that lovely, lovely minerals. Lovely materials. That's going to be useful for us. So yeah, we're going to head back to the hardware labs <clears throat> and finish exploring the area we didn't look at because we didn't have enough room. And then we'll head back and watch the video. Oh, 
I like the music. This one. Shit, where did he go? Pretty sure I didn't kill him. I got a good shot on him, but I did not kill him. So where is he? No way, it didn't kill him, did I? Oh, that's the one from earlier, I think. from some of the videos we've come up with before that this is actually based in an alternate reality where Kennedy was not assassinated and rather than winning the space race um, Russia and America worked together we'll see something happened at one point or another we do know that Talos 1 was built from that effort and that it was taken over by... Uh, what were they called? I can't remember the uh, the company now, but it was taken over by a company. We'll keep an eye out for that. Because I cannot remember it for the life of me. I'm going to have to go and double check. It's bugging me. Transtar, yeah. It was taken over by Transtar, who have been doing most of the experiments and things here. Ah. Talk about missing a Spock check, it's right there. We don't know how long it's been since the Typhon were sort of encountered first and discovered. And we don't know whether they were hostile to start with or whether something else has happened. I'm guessing they're probably hostile to start with. Right, now of course we're still on the same level, that's good. So we're gonna see what we can do about hopping across. Because it skips off the level, why not? Booty. I don't know if I can break the glass. I can! This is something else. These are new enemies. Wow, that was something else. We haven't come across those before. We barely had time to experience the other ones and we're already coming up with new enemy types. didn't realize we could all start a weapon. That's handy. Um, we're going to make some 9mm bullets. And some shells. Good. Right, let's see about watching the rest of this video, shall we? love these looking glass screens. Sort of holographic kind of feel to them. You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos 1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. 
I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Yay. Looks like we're going to be responsible for trying to destroy this station. Ah, January. Hello. Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos 1, but none of them are like me. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. The second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos 1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. Excellent. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fix the lift from here. There's another route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Please be careful. Psychotronics. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Yay. Oh, that's a phone. Neuromod, thank you. That puts us up to six. I think that should give us enough to... Yep, hacking level three. We are going to blow our mods on that for now. And that's actually going to free up a few bits more, and pieces though. for us. That's why you're gone. Certain doors and things we wouldn't have been able to, able to open before we can. Same with safes. There's quite a lot that we can probably explore now. And I think with that done, we are going to end this episode and pick it up next time around and see what we can find. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, whichever you fancy. And stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you very much. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. So, what was going on with Dr. Calvino, I wonder? Do we have a code for this? No, and we need level 3 to be able to get through it. Although, no, it's actually completely broken. I need level 3 to be even able to, be even able to get through it. Let's see if we've got enough neuromods to put that up a level or two. Yeah, we've got enough to put it up to level 2, but not to level 3. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I'll tell you what, unless there's something else better spent, uh, that we can better spend our units on. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to go back and get hacking level 2. Yay! So that's us leveled up. Let's head back out a little bit and see what we can find. There's a something up here I saw that we could do with being repaired. There we go. We've got some spare parts now, so we might be able to do something about it. No, we need repair level 2, which we do not have. That's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. Got some more spare parts here. Well, if nothing else, we've got a shit ton of those in the future. Oh, Carvino's got something on him. Still, uh, just the transcribe that we've already read, that's a bit odd. And a couple more items over here. Yeah, is it worth
us. Let's try to get back inside here. Which I don't think we can unless we repair the breach fail safe. Or let's go and explore a bit more. I'm not quite sure whether this will happen or not, but I think probably hitting um, hitting things a little bit too fast is going to cause us damage. Yeah, you've got lots of different areas there, but none of them we can open yet. Let's see about that human corpse. I think we need to open the airlocks from the inside first before we can actually access them from the outside. But it's definitely a sort of fast travel system, which is going to be useful for us as the station is pretty bit was breached to, uh, to vacuum. We can now finally get in there. Just this whole segment is very, very cool. Gonna see what these bits are first uh, before we scan his body. Spare parts, handy, handy. Some more. And there's his body. Couple of neuro mods on him, you and his workshop key. Not surprising. Well done. Mio, this is Doctor Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array. I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. So, what was going on with Dr. Calvino, I wonder? Do we have a code for this? No, and we need level 3 to be able to get through it. Although, no, it's actually completely broken. I need level 3 to be even able to, be even able to get through it. Let's see if we've got enough neuromods to put that up a level or two. Yeah, we've got enough to put it up to level 2, but not to level 3. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I'll tell you what, unless there's something else better spent uh, that we can better spend our units on. Mm. Yeah, I think we can go back and get hacking level 2. So that's us leveled up. Let's head back out a little bit and see what we can find. There's a something up here I saw that we could do with being repaired. There we go. We've got some spare parts now, so we might be able to do something about it. No, we need repair level 2, which we do not have. That's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. Corpse over there is, if I can get that far. This whole experience is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Proper zero gravity in a space station game. Wonderful. I wonder if the next system shock's going to include segments like this. It would be pretty cool if it did. sound outside or practically no sound outside proper space as opposed to you know um, what you get with most Hollywood films Let's thrust ourselves back towards the hull which we saw this room from the outside earlier on but couldn't get through because, well, because it was breached to, uh, to vacuum. We can now finally get in there. Just 
just this whole segment is very very cool gonna see what these bits are first um, before we scan his body spare parts handy handy some more and there's his body a couple of neuro mods on him you and his workshop key not surprising well done This is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I'm not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. So, what was going on with Dr. Calvino, I wonder? Do we have a code for this? No, and we need level 3 to be able to get through it. Although, no, it's actually... And we don't know whether they were hostile to start with, or whether something else has happened. I'm guessing they're probably hostile to start with. Right, uh, of course we're still on the same level, that's good. So we're gonna see what we can do about hopping across. Because it skips off the level, why not? Booty. Well, I don't know if I can break the glass. I can! These are new enemies. Wow, that was something else. We haven't come across those before. We barely had time to experience the other ones, and we're already coming up with new enemy types. didn't realize we could all start a weapon. That's handy. Um, we're going to make some 9mm bullets. And some shells. Good. Right, let's see about watching the rest of this video, shall we? love these looking glass screens. Sort of holographic kind of feel to them. You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos 1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Let's all go back to the lobby. Let's all go back to the lobby. Okay, so we're going to want to head ourselves back upstairs, I think, for the 
video. Ah, ah, ha, ha. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna stop here first. I'm gonna transfer that over as well. And is there anything else? still don't know what fear does. Um, if I have experienced it, I haven't experienced it for very long. It's going to be worth keeping an eye on, I suppose. Recycle, please. I'm also going to take one of those and also sort to free up some room. Oh, we've actually got two other pistols there, so let's ditch one of those. Again, that'll free up some room. That's the other one. That's the other one we've got to quit. Yeah, that'll do it. We circle those two. Ah, oh, look at all that lovely, lovely minerals. Lovely materials. That's going to be useful for us. So yeah, we're going to head back to the hardware labs <clears throat> and finish exploring the area we didn't look at because we didn't have enough room and then we'll head back and watch the video. I like the music. This one. Shit, where did he go? Pretty sure I didn't kill him. I got a good shot on him, but I did not kill him, so where is he? No way, it didn't kill him, did I? Oh, that's the one from earlier, I think. Got a good shot on him, but I did not kill him. So where is he? No way, it didn't kill him, did I? Oh, that's the one from earlier, I think. So we know from some of the videos we've come up with before that this is actually based in an alternate reality where Kennedy was not assassinated and rather than winning the space race, um, Russia and America worked together. We'll see something happened at one point or another. We do know that Talos 1 was built from that effort and that it was taken over by, uh, what were they called? I can't remember the uh, the company now, but it was taken over by a company. We'll keep an eye out for that. Because I cannot remember it for the life of me. I'm going to have to go and double check. It's bugging me. Transtar, yeah. It's taken over by Transtar, who have been doing most of the experiments and things here. Ah. Talk about missing a spot check, it's right there. We don't know how long it's been since the Typhon were sort of encountered first and discovered. And we don't know whether they were hostile to start with or whether something else has happened. I'm guessing they're probably hostile to start with. I'm 
Right, uh, of course we're still on the same level, that's good. So we're gonna see what we can do about hopping across. Because it skips off the level, why not? Booty. Well, I don't know if I can break the glass. I can! Else. We're going out here to find Dr. Kalinzo's body. Because we need his key card. Microgravity detected. So, space to ascend. Control to crawl to lower. Roll with Q and A, break with both together, and get a burst of acceleration with shift. Nice. We're going to probably load up for the pistol for this one. There's a corpse up there, and there's Calvino. This is very cool. I'm going to explore first by going to see what that human corpse over there is, if I can get that far. This whole experience is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Proper zero gravity in a space station game. Wonderful. I wonder if the next system shock's going to include segments like this. It would be pretty cool if it did. Not even any sound outside, or practically no sound outside. Proper space. As opposed to, you know, um, what you get with most Hollywood films. Let's thrust ourselves back. Towards the hull. Which we saw this room from the outside earlier on, but couldn't get through because, well, because it was breached to, uh, to vacuum. We can now finally get in there. Just this whole segment is very, very cool. Gonna see what these bits are first um, before we scan his body. Spare parts, handy, handy. Some more. And there's his body. A couple of neuromods on him. You and his workshop key. Not surprising. Well done. Mio, this is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay, do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. At the of the level. We're almost at the beginning of the video, sorry. Man, we're in a completely different area. We haven't explored this one yet. <laughs> Shame we can't break the lock. Doesn't look like it's that secure. You'd think we'd be able to. Man, this place is really coming apart. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. There's a phantom in there. Don't know where that, uh... Do not know where that mimic went. Unfortunately, it's going to be staying quiet for the moment from the looks of things. Ah, oh, cool, we've got some ammo fabrication plans. We're back in a crew quarters area, so we've got a security, sta security station. Security controls, reset checkpoint, unlock security locker. And can we download? Yes, we've got an area map. Wonderful. I feel like we're actually making some progress in this episode. Not massive progress, but you know, some. some. Now I 
don't know where that mimic went, so we're going to have to kind of keep our eyes open. There he is. Oh shit, there's a phantom in there. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to carry it, please. Ah, <laughs> that was an easy one. That was easy peasy. Can we get up here? Looks like we should be able to. Up here, and then up and over. Wonderful. Bit more glue canister. Macro 11. I'm gonna guess that's that one. Emails, emails, emails. Glue test results. 3.1 test specimen preparation. 3.2 the dimension should be optimized for small scale test chambers. 1 meter cubed operating at 1 at min one minus 0 0.02 air change per hour to achieve the loading factor of 0 0.1 to, uh, to 0 0.9 meters squared. 3.3 applied D TBO 79C to clean stainless steel sheet metal plate. 3.4 thoroughly coated specimen on sheet metal plate successfully with a. What was that? Oh. What the hell is that? I'm going to scan that and add it to the radar because it might be useful when we're outside later on. Right. What have we got? Consoles fried. Shorted out one of the two. Power control terminal. Reinitialize, please. Video playback, network utilities, diagnostics. Let's start with video playback. Test phase one could not connect to host. Could not connect to. Uh, we're going to be doing some tech work here. Okay, let's see. Let's do some uh, network testing. Okay, servers online. All servers online? Yep, okay, let's try the diagnostics. Diagnose network servers. Server ARCs SR4BN1112 disconnected. What about the screens? All screens intact, okay, so 1112, that one. Restoring connection. Connection restored. Nice work, Morgan. Thank you. The looking glass screens are online again. Yay. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. Let's have a look at the videos that are on there. It's running? Oh, Light field capture weird. looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld. D did you take it? No. Ah, yesterday we had two. Now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense. I guess you forgot. Sounds like the uh, the guy from The Simpsons, one of the um, one of the old guy, one of the elderly guys from The Simpsons. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. No, just just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I uh, I suppose it's it's late after all. Uh, go go uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? <laughs>